A poll out today shows support for the Yes campaign in The Voice could be wavering. Let's get some reaction to that and some other news with the independent member for McKellar, Sophie Scomps. Thanks so much for your time. Let's start with The Voice. I've got a few other things that uh, we're keen to talk about this afternoon, including the appointment of a senior public servant, Catherine Campbell. But in the, first of all, The Voice to Parliament, this support from 58 to 53 per cent. Are you worried about that trend? Look, I think this debate has a long way to go and I think we're just getting stuck, the debate's just getting kicked off. And I think as, as Australians get more and more information about what it actually means, what the voice is, um, is that those numbers will most likely turn around. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for Australia to really look about, look to what our relationship with our First Nations people can be like into the future and how we can do better. I've got Julian Lisa coming on, the former... Shadow Attorney General, he wants a bit more compromise in terms of the wording to help get more Liberal supporters over the line, and not just Liberal voters, but those who might be concerned about some of the wording. Are you open to a further compromise if it is going to boost the yes vote? Look, I think, I think that people have their concerns and they need to have their concerns and questions answered. And um, we continue to have that debate. And if there's changes that need to happen, great. If, if you know, I think the current yes campaign is very happy with the, the wording. So, but I'm completely open to continuing that debate and discussion. The stage three tax cuts, the Greens have released some numbers from the Parliamentary Budget Office, says the cost uh, is much more than previously expected. But doesn't that just simply reflect an economy that would be very healthy if income tax receipts were to grow? It means there are more people employed and wages are higher. Look, I think the issue here with um, how we collect our tax revenue, we've got a huge amount of challenges ahead of us as a country. We know we've got huge spending coming up on defence, on NDIS, on we've got an ageing population, so on aged care and health services. Uh, and also we've got climate change mitigation and resilience and, and building back after disasters. So we know that we've got a lot of expenditure in the in the you know the coming decades. So at the moment, our tax system relies really heavily on income tax. And I really think we need to look at how we're going to build that tax base. And we need to look at the amount, the amount of tax that multinationals are paying in this country. At the moment, a lot of profit, there's a lot of profit shifting so they can avoid paying tax in this country. So we need to look at that. And I think the government's looking at that 50%, sorry, not 50, 15% um, flat tax for multinational companies. But also another thing going into the future, when we look at how other countries such as Qatar and Norway have taxed their, um, with their resource rent tax, Australia has, Australians have been really dudded in how we're benefiting from our own resources. So we're selling off our resources cheaply and we're buying them back at a really high prices. So we need to look at going into the future. We will be having mining. We have loads of rare and critical um, earth me um, metals and things like that, which will be needed for future um, technologies. But we need to make sure that as Australians, we are also benefiting because at the moment, countries like Norway have set, them se set themselves up to be able to support future generations. They have a sovereign wealth fund that's worth, you know, a couple of trillion dollars. And here in Australia, we have a nearly a trillion dollars debt. So we need to act on that as well. And I think constantly slamming, you know, the poor people who are working hard, the, the teachers and the tradies and relying only on income tax or heavily on income tax has to be looked at.